Hello, have you ever heard someone use the word forest and you don't really understand what it means? I mean, you understand what it means in some sense of the word, but the way that physicists understand it, <clears throat> and in particular when they talk about Newton's second law of motion, which is force is equal to mass times acceleration, or F equals MA. Well, in this video, I would like to describe this to you. Hello, my name is Eli Van Cleve, and I'm going to be doing a little demonstration in this video so that you can better understand force. I'm going to be doing a little demonstration of force. In order to do that, I'm going to need a few items. But first, if you're a child under the age of 18 and you're living with your parents, or your grandparents, or aunts, or uncles, or just visiting their house, or anything like that, make sure to do all experiments with an adult inside their house and make sure you have their permission. Now, the materials we're going to need are going to be things like twine, tape, a balloon, and you're going to need a straw. And you're ultimately, what you're going to do is you're going to tie the st uh, string between these two chairs. Now, I've tied the string between these two chairs and put a straw on the string. You have to make sure that you always put the straw on before you tie the last knot on the chair, otherwise you can't get the straw on. Now I'm going to take this balloon and I'm going to take the, tape the balloon onto the straw using this tape. First, I'm going to take the tape off and I'm going to take a piece of the tape. There we go. And I'm going to put it onto the straw. This is going to be the thing that's going to hold the balloon to the straw. Otherwise, the balloon's just going to fly off everywhere. Then I'm going to blow up the balloon. Let's make it nice and big for the first one. And then I'm going to tape the balloon to the straw, put it one end, one, two, three, let go, and it gets to the other side, and rather quickly. But how am I going to demonstrate force? Well, let's try a little experiment here, because we're scientists. We like to experiment. Let's blow up the balloon again. But I'm going to make it a little blow, just a little bit, right? Let's see what happens when it's not as big. Not only does it not move as far, it doesn't move as fast. That's because there's less force with smaller amount of air pushing it along. So it's not only going to go as long because the, the air doesn't blow as long, but also the straw isn't going to move as quickly because the air didn't have as much force to begin with. If I blow it up a little bit more, you can see that it begins to move faster and it moves further. If I blow up a lot, it moves very quickly. So the less I blow up, means in the beginning, there's less force to push the straw on the balloon, so it moves more slowly. But the more force that I apply, the faster it's going to move along the string. Thank you so much for watching this demonstration. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye. This has been a video from Van Cleef Scientific. If you like this, please like and subscribe for more content.